The Turkish get-up is a great exercise, but it's not exactly perfect for people with knee issues. So what do we do if we have knee issues, but we still want to get some of that benefit from the get-ups? Well, we can do something called rolling 45s. Now, it's not exactly the same as a full Turkish get-up. We're not getting from the floor all the way up to standing and all the way back down, but we're still doing part of, the, part of the movement, and we're going to get a lot of benefit out of just those rolling 45s. So really simple. All we do is we come down to the floor like we would our get-ups, and from here, I'm going to come up to my tall sit position, come right back down, and I'll roll right to the other side. Same thing, just like that. And we just roll from side to side, just like that. And we can do them naked like I was there with no kettlebell, or we can do them with a bell. Only we gotta make sure we're transitioning from side to side properly. So I'm here, come up to my tall sit, back down, and then I'm bringing that bell down with both hands, coming to the side, haloing it around my head before moving into this one. Again, bring it down with both hands. And we'd repeat on that side. Now again, this isn't perfect. This isn't the same as getting from the floor all the way up to the top. But we're still getting a lot of the benefit. We're spending time on the floor, which is really important. We're getting up to that tall sit position and there's zero wear and tear on our knees. Now we could do some rolling 45s and we could incorporate or, or, or add, I should say, some waiter walks or, or that kind of thing so that we're still getting some time with that bell up overhead. Uh, but again, doing this is gonna prevent any issues with our knees and we're still gonna get some of that benefit. So if you have knee issues and you've been avoiding get-ups for that reason, maybe give these rolling 45s a shot and see if they help you out.